Hey everybody, Dan here from Shirt BT. Unfortunately, my truck was down for the count, but Julie's Forerunner pulled through. The Sherp drove off the trailer just fine, but when I was putting it on there, the whole back end of her Forerunner came right off the ground. But I believe that was because of the angle. You guys, first time Sherp riders? No. You're old pros. Okay. You're a virgin? Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got a virgin. Well, have fun. Don't forget to hang on. So this video is focusing on making some deer pass through cattails and having a little bit of fun in the water. Special thanks to Joey for doing some of that drone work. Appreciate it. So right now we got Terry inside of his tree stand directing me to go through these cattails because as you're going to see in just a short period of time, you can't see where the heck you're going. So these videos are courtesy of a 360 camera. Again, these cattails are probably anywhere from, I'd say, 10 to 12 feet tall. You cannot see beyond them. But the Sherp does an absolutely great job, especially when we have a dry season like we did this year, about flattening those cattails down. If you go over small saplings, they're gonna pop right back up again, especially in a couple of days where you can see where you're going. But look at this, oh, yeah, how in the world can you figure out where you're even going? The challenge is you gotta make sure you're going very slowly because you do not know what's on the other side of those cattails right there. In other words, it could be a big log, trees you'd probably see, but something that you don't wanna hit that you could hit. The other thing you have to be careful about is as you're driving through these types of things, if there is a tree pointing back at you or a stump or something, it acts just like a spear and you got to be really careful and be um, ready to stop the Sherp at just a moment's notice. Another challenge when driving through these cattails is the darn cattail fuzz. Fortunately on the intake there's a fine mesh screen that catches most of it, but it will thicken up just like kind of a laundry uh, filter works uh, on your dryer. Uh, you, it peels right off. Sometimes if you shut it off and just that lack of sucking the air through will just let it fall right off, but most of the time you gotta go out and pull it off. There is nothing better in a shirt than conquering this type of terrain. You don't have to worry about things poking into it. You don't have to worry about hitting a rock or whatever. Just let her rip. Careful. Right now, we're probably two, 250 yards away from where we started in this march from that tree stand. So the field of view that he had from before to now is, is not even somewhat comparable. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the end. And from here, we make our way back again. So we ended up going back and forth on this thing probably three or four times to get everything to stay down. Sometimes if you're going over like brush, more of like saplings, you gotta be careful. You can't go back through it again because again, they act like spears. You gotta continue to go one way, but cattails do not present that hazard. What a fantastic result of our efforts. While we were doing that, everybody was hanging out back at the pond, having some fun. And when we came back, we had to play a little bit in the pond also. The pond was dug a number of years ago, and it's actually, I believe, almost 15 feet, the deepest spot. Plenty of fish in there.
Too much, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I thought that was too I thought we were going back. <laughs> and the kids are like, yeah, that was cool. Let's go. Your dad's about dead here. I knew that you would be. Oh, okay, here we go. Always appreciate being able to play in this particular pond. It's it's just a lot of fun. The water was a little lower, so we did dive a little bit more than what we have in the past. So I had to be a little careful because um, I didn't want a whole bunch of water to go in the shirt. Did get a little that came in through the back, but nothing too significant. But we had to get back to doing some more trails. This one doesn't have quite as much footage as the other one from the outside of the shirt. A little bit more rugged area, a little bit more difficult to walk in. Uh, we weren't able to do quite as good of a job because there was a lot of nice oak trees that were coming in and we did not want to bust those. So we decided, I believe, that he's just going to move the stand to get in a little bit better place uh, for this upcoming season. Just an absolutely wonderful way to spend a Sunday afternoon. There was good food. There was a little bit of drink, although I really didn't participate. Plenty of animals there having some fun in the water also. Just everybody basically having a very, very good time. Other nice thing is the mosquitoes were not bad this year, which was an extra special treat. There was a lot going on throughout the day. It was a lot of fun. Um, I look forward to doing it again. Thanks, Terry.
Well, we're coming up to the end of this video. The back of that forerunner did not go off the ground this time, so that was good news. Appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for watch, subscribing, uh, clicking that like button is uh, extremely appreciated. Hope all is going well in your life. Take care.